Hello, and welcome to the Cigna Check-In, a series based on the findings of the Cigna COVID-19 Impact Study, an extension of Cigna's annual 360 Wellbeing Survey, launched at the start of the pandemic to track the impact of COVID-19 on people's well-being around the world. Here, we will use the insights to deep dive into the triggers of stress, where they may come from, why stress may be heightened in these difficult times, and most importantly, to give you the information and tools you need to perform successful stress care check-ins on yourself, your team members, and your employees. I'm Patrick Rona, Head of Brand and Thought Leadership for Signer International Markets, and today I'm joined by Dr. Joyce Chow, Clinical Psychologist, the Dimension Center of Hong Kong, and Dr. Ethan Lim, Medical Director of Cigna Singapore. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. So let's dive into the main topic of today, this feeling of, of being overwhelmed. So whether it's waking up to a barrage of bad news day in, day out, a non-structured work day building up the pressure, the parade or the constant parade of family members interrupting every five minutes, or maintaining the productivity of your team from afar, the feeling of being overwhelmed can be a key stress trigger that drives down company efficiency and perhaps more importantly, heavily impacts the well-being of, of employees and ourselves. Dr. Joyce, what exactly is feeling overwhelmed? Can you describe it and how it, help, how it heightens stress? So feeling overwhelmed is when we feel and think that we might not be able to do the things that we need to do. And feeling that demand is too high and then yet support is too low. So when we feel we are under threat and stress level would increase and then our body and mind will try to cope with these perceived threat of losing control of the situation. And so when we feel overwhelmed, the stress level affects our, uh, the way we think, the way we feel, and then also the way we feel in terms of body, you know, with the body sensations. So definitely when we feel overwhelmed, our behavior and performance could be affected. And particularly uh, when we feel overwhelmed for a long period of time. So to both of you, what can business leaders do to approach this subject or topic once the signs that someone is feeling overwhelmed start to appear? Probably we can start with sharing our own experience as leaders and managers. We, if we observe our uh, team members are getting stressed, as I indicated earlier, then it might be very helpful to start with sharing your own experience. It's almost like normalize that this is an extraordinary time. I think that's very important. I think that's this concept of uh, checking in. It can start off with something very, um, something very general, very broad, like how are you doing? Then move on to something maybe more specific. If you think that they are not um, displaying the usual behavior, it, it may be nice to just check and check in and see if they're doing okay as well. Dr. Ethan, can you expand a little bit on some of the techniques and tools that someone might be able to use uh, when you want to check in on somebody you suspect is feeling overwhelmed? There are quite a few options to explore, and there are many tools out there that we can all use. Um, digital tools, digital health solutions, uh, apps that tell you what you are doing, wellness apps, Signal has wellness app as well. For Signal, we have the Signal Wellbeing app for our insured members who you can have a snapshot of what your health is like, check in on that and see how you're doing on a regular basis. Of course, there are also other tools available. There are a lot of mindfulness apps, meditation apps, uh, apps about self-awareness. And so all these things can be at your disposal. And I think we just need to uh, explore a little bit and help ourselves more. There is, of course, um, employee assistance programs or EAPs. And that, I think that is widely available in most workplace settings and in most insured uh, population as well. And, and if I'm not mistaken, um, anyone, whether a customer or not, can download Cigna's Employee Engagement Toolkit uh, from the CignaCheckIn.com website. Dr. Joyce, why is it so important to check in on the stress of our employees? And, and what is a good way to approach the subject of, being, of feeling overwhelmed? I think when we talk about stress, most people have you know, some ideas what it is. But if we can build it into the culture in the company and in the, in the unit that we're in at workplace, what happens is that it becomes a topic that we can talk about. And then it's just the whole uh, idea is more open and discuss and basically how we are dealing with 
life and work life. We tend to focus on productivity as you know, a company and, and a team, and, but we need to indeed come back to the individual first. When we individually can perform really well, then of course you know, it will extend to, to everyone. So if we have this culture of like we care, and we carry in a way that is a team care. That's all we have time for today. And thank you both again for joining me. As we've learned, the feeling of being overwhelmed is certainly heightened during this time. And making sure you perform regular stress care check-ins on your colleagues, your team members, and your employees is vitally important. For more information on how to perform successful stress care check-ins, find helpful tools and the most up-to-date Cigna information and insights please visit our dedicated hub. I look forward to welcoming you back to our next episode coming soon. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.